Welcome back guys. Well, today we're back on the Beetle. Let's have a look what's going down so far. Uh, clutch, we're gonna put a new clutch in the motor. We've got her all pulled down and we're just giving it a good old once over health check. And we have gone and put the new boots in. And we've also fixed that, we've also fixed that uh, dodgy um, throw out bearing arm. Got that all fixed. And yeah, just slowly, slowly putting a few parts on it, getting it ready. We have actually bent out that issue here and re-welded that as well. That was all off camera. And we're gonna do our fuel tank uh, painting today and get that restored. So we'll jump down to the other area and get her done. Right, hey guys, look at this. This is the 36 horsepower motor that we're gonna give some loving to. We're gonna make that the 3,000 horsepower. 3,000 horsepower, <laughs> Arvin Boy saying, wow. We've got all this tinware here to paint in the KVS. It all has to be done in an hour's time. And sure, yeah, <laughs> here is the fuel tank. Yeah, just put water in the tank so it always goes See down the domestic well. duties? We've got gloves on. Yeah, I'm well practiced at domestic duties. You've got three <laughs> kids and the missus that insist. <laughs> insist? I they clean insist. The <laughs> Cook down. Yeah, well. Do the dishes. Then you'll have a play with cars. That's right. Right. She's so, so nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's getting a paint job. We're going to do a bright pink. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, mean right. yet. That goes well with green. Blue. <laughs> what colour is it? I don't know. Who knows? I can't see. I'm colour blind. Uh, and we got this uh, colour colour matched up by a, a good... Mo oh, yeah. It's got some silver on there. Yeah, Interesting. Been Someone has been playing with it. Blue, silver. That'll all be covered and hidden. Yeah, you won't see any of this. Covered. So there you go. That's that's the update down here in the bunker. Or bunker-ish area, I should say. So it's it's a secret where. That's it. Here's all our little parts we've got ready for painting. We're using a pink high fill primer and then a pink top coat on all these parts. <laughs> I haven't told him yet. <laughs> no, only joking. Oh yeah, you know me. I love me fluoro pink. <laughs> Black KBS is the call of the day for all this stuff. Satin finish. And with a satin finish. Yeah, well it's polyurethane, so it's, it's, it's really strong stuff. Anyway, we'll keep uh, getting these parts ready to go and we'll bring you in when we're ready for painting. All right, so we're ready to paint. Everything's all hunky-dory. Lots of tape covering all the areas that need taping. And we're gonna do one coat on the bottom of everything and then flip it over in about an hour's time. So let's get to it. That's the Star Wars pass, you know, when they're scud rutting. Well, there you go, folks. So that's just first sort of mist coat just on one side of it. Obviously, we've got to wait for that for about an hour. And then we'll flip all these parts over, do the same on the other side. And then after that, we can do a uh, second coat, a little bit heavier. This is still quite a light coat. 
um, but you know it is a polyurethane paint so it is a little bit different to normal paint uh, the way you apply it so and obviously this sheen will completely go it'll be a satin finish once it's finished so we'll let that uh, dry for an hour and then uh, continue on it have a look at this guys so this is all the kbs satin you can see how it's actually dulled off quite a lot from when we painted it and all these parts are now dry and re we've got the fuel tank done in black it's got, it's got a bit of water on it from outside but we're going to go we're going to sand this now and then do it in the in the stock gray color and the heater boxes I mean, these things look brand new look at them. And we've got some extra pulleys because we're pulley mad around here. Yeah, and our oil. Not, not, not fully mad, pulley mad. Huh? Pulley mad, that's right. Yeah. And the tinware, inside and out. Which one was the one that came up the back? There's no OCD here. No, no, really, you're the OCD king, buddy. <laughs> and actually, this is one good tip, guys. If you are uh, painting your heater boxes, don't paint this part here or that part there. It stinks! Because if you do, you'll be you'll be having fumes for about a month in the cabin and it's, yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's, it's, not, it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. Uh, we've even got our little spring here done. That's I mean, cool. The paint is rated to 250 degrees Celsius, so it's okay on the outside. 400 Fahrenheit for the American friends. See, I lived over there for seven years, so I know what's oil, down. Oil and brake fluid and... It, it is impervious. It is re resistant yeah. to all this, yeah, because this is a polyurethane paint. So it is almost like powder coating. It is very, very tough. Um, now, cheap coat of silver, make it look pretty. Yeah, you got to paint it. There's the masking. Who did the masking on that? Dodgy, dodgy. Bloody hell. Dodgy. Brothers, you're the one. With, you're the one with good eyesight. Yeah. Now and I did. I did do a rookie mistake, uh, and I actually painted the inside of these, yeah, which you no. you really shouldn't do, but. We'll find out if it holds up or not. Because I, I don't think they're you don't want to paint off. flaking off into your oil bar. No, it wouldn't be a good thing. But I, I do think. Jeez, rookie. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we're going to take these parts up. We're going to sand the tank and get some epoxy primer. Shows you have to watch you all the time, don't you? Oh yeah, cheap labour around here, mate. <laughs> You're paying too many peanuts. Peanuts? I don't even get peanuts. I you want, you want peanuts your I'd, I'd love peanuts. I want cashews. I want the expensive nuts. All right, let's get this stuff sorted. Uh, here's the fuel tank, and we've decided we're going to two-tone it. <laughs> well, you're not going to see the bottom of it, so. So we're going to just put some epoxy primer over the top of the KDS and then put our factory grey colour. And let's get this thing painted. Have we got fans? You got a fan for me? I told them all to go home. <laughs> oh, not, not those kind of fans. Scooby! There's our other fan, our, our quality control expert. How you going there? so this thing is all nicely primed we'll give this because she's dried after a couple of hours we'll give it a scuff back and hit it with the factory gray color we've also done our generator uh, clamp and sprayed that as well and the core just make the parts look a bit pretty hey you know you know how it is so we'll get this and we are going to start scuffing up this one and we'll get some uh, some color onto it. Be a good idea.
Okay, so the fuel tank is done. And also these little parts here, we've sprayed them up as well. Look at that generator. Almost looks like it's brand new, doesn't it? Pretty cool. And obviously the fuel tank's all done. Come up nice and shiny. That'll do the job just nicely. And we've got a couple of little cover plates here that I've just hung up. Painted these guys too. They need a doing. And the fuel tank strap, little bolts, nuts and bolts, these little guys. Lot odds and ends, you know. All right, well, we're gonna let this stuff dry now. We'll go up to the top garage and let's see what Oven Boy's up to up there. Let's check it out. All right, so a little bit more update up here. Uh, we've just been putting a new latch in the single cab and we've had to just glue down the uh, the rubber with some sticker flex just to hold it in position. So that's gonna go back into the ute. Uh, we also put on the top strap here. We fabricated that up out of some three mil flat bar uh, to complete our timber roof, which is pretty cool. So that's one little part we've been mucking around with as well. And then obviously the beetle, we've put some chrome trim on. We're slowly just putting bits and pieces back on. That's all finished up inside. We've still got to do the uh, the reaming on the front kingpin, so we're just waiting for the tool to come from America. And we also painted a little bit inside here just with some deadener or bitumen paint. So yeah, slowly, slowly. The only thing we're waiting for now with the engine is this uh, back cover here. We can't seem to find that in stock. We've got about a four week uh, wait for that, so we're going to have to just hold our horses on that one. And then of course the tinware can go back on the motor in the next episode. And that's about it. So I think we are going to be finishing up for today and we will see you in the new episode. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, we will catch you in the next episode. See you later.